I've got some Rio de Janeiro video and I want to share it. Uh, this was a really fun city that, uh, that we visited. I could definitely understand why someone would want to live there. It's a, it's a really active city, lots of space to kick a soccer ball, play volleyball, run, ride bicycles, hike, and so on. And it's all woven into uh, a city of six and a half million people. Rio de Janeiro means River of January in Portuguese because the Europeans first encountered the city in January of 1502. The, um, the river that they entered and thought would lead them through the country to uh, other cities and areas ended up being just a bay, but, uh, but the name stuck. I spent two weeks uh, here in Rio, so I uh, wanted to give a few thoughts uh, after this visit. I stayed near Copacabana, and the beach is pretty awesome there. You can rent an umbrella and a couple chairs on the beach for 6 or $7 US for a full day, and drinks and food on the beach are fairly reasonable too. Ipanema Beach is located just about a 20 minute walk away from Copacabana. And uh, it's a similar beach, not quite as big, but it has um, Pedro do Arpoador, which is a large rock at the end of the beach with a few short trails. Uh, it's a cool place to watch uh, the action on the beach, surfers, and the sunset with a drink. The beaches are super popular Every single day, the, every single day of the week, throughout the day, and into the evening. Uh, at night, there are a lot of makeshift bars selling caipirinhas, the kind of the, I think it's like the national drink of Brazil, and uh, and other drinks as well, and plenty of people selling all sorts of souvenirs, art, clothes, and so on. And all of these people will take credit cards, even uh, the street vendors. On Sundays, uh, the street in front of Copacabana is closed for runners and bikers, and there are other Sunday markets located throughout town. Other popular areas of town to visit are the Santa Teresa and the Lapa neighborhoods. Santa Teresa is known for the local artists there, and Lapa is mostly known for its impressive nightlife. I visited the two most famous sites in Rio two times each. Tickets to Sugarloaf Mountain cost about $25 US. There are two trams that take you up to the mountaintop, uh, one to the first uh, level, I guess, or the first hill, and then there's a second one that takes you all the way up to Sugarloaf Mountain. It's surprising how large the Sugarloaf Mountain is once you're up there. You can find monkeys along the trails, there's a bar with a terrific view, and uh, a couple places to eat food, uh, as well as some souvenir stores. If you do go, I recommend uh, when you come back down to skip the second tram and take the trail. It's about a 30 minute hike down, maybe 5 or 10 minutes more if you wanted to hike up. There's, there's no savings in cost, but it's not super difficult to do, and you could see more monkeys. Christ, uh, Christ the Redeemer is much busier than Sugarloaf Mountain, but it's also a lot less expensive. Visit during the week when it's not as busy. If you have a choice between taking a taxi or an Uber, or to take the tram to the statue, take the, take the taxi or the Uber. It gets you 90% of the way there. 
it's a lot quicker and it's cheaper. Once you're at the statue, it's going to be packed most likely and will also probably be really hot. So um, take your <laughs> take your photo and get out of there. Uh, now there's really actually some, it has the best views uh, of Rio from up there. Actually, I'd say it has the second best views. I still think the best views are from the favelas, but the only way really to get into the favelas is through a local tour guide. Um, a few other thoughts on Rio uh, that we kind of stood out to us are there are a lot of homeless people on the streets. Not many stray dogs, though. Uh, we never really felt in danger or that we were a target for criminals. But at the same time, we were really careful with our cameras and our phones and our valuables. Uh, and again, Uber is a great way to use to get around town. It's really inexpensive. Uh, overall, it seemed like it was a very progressive city to us. Uh, Tahuka National Park is located in the mountains that surround Rio. And um, I guess Brazil claims that this is the largest urban forest in the world. For some reason, when we went, we couldn't drive into the park, but it's free to enter. And the highlight of our park visit was uh, seeing more monkeys. So that's Rio. Uh, oh, if you, if you do go and you need flip-flops, this is the place to get them. Uh, Allie and I bought between, uh, uh, between the two of us about 16 pairs of Havianas. Well, Allie bought about 12. I brought, I bought four. Um, but an average pair is about $9 US compared to $30 here in the United States. Food was only a little bit less expensive, but transportation and lodging uh, were very affordable compared to the United States. Uh, if it wasn't so hard to get to Rio, I'm sure we would work out another trip uh, down there in our future, but it's just not easy getting that far south, especially when we're coming from uh, Zihuatanejo. So I don't expect us to be back there soon. Uh, unless Ali runs out of flip-flops soon, then, uh, then we'll probably have to work another trip out there. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.